Welcome back to Wednesday's The New Day One Show, episode 18. So glad you decided to show up again. Um, today we're going to start out the inspiration um, with a, a, a little scripture, and uh, then I'll just kind of give a little feedback on that. And uh, you know, it'd be nice if we were having this a conversation live so I could hear your thoughts as well. Here we go. Uh, Ephesians 3, 14 through 21, the Passion Translation. One of my favorite verses, top verses in the whole Bible. So I kneel humbly in awe before the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Messiah, the perfect Father of every father and child in heaven and on earth. And I pray that he would unveil within you the unlimited riches of his glory and favor until supernatural strength floods your innermost being with his divine might and explosive power. Then by constantly using your faith, the life of Christ will be released deep within inside you and the resting place of his love will become the very source and root of your life. Then you will be empowered to discover what every Holy One experiences, the great magnitude of the astonishing love of Christ in all its dimensions. How deeply intimate and far-reaching is his love. How enduring and inclusive it is. Endless love beyond measurement that transcends our understanding. There's that transcend again. This extravagant love pours into you until you are filled to overflowing with the fullness of God. Never doubt God's mighty power to work in you and accomplish all this. He will achieve infinitely more than your greatest request, your most unbelievable dream, and exceed your wildest imagination. He will outdo them all for his miraculous power constantly energizes you. Now we offer up to God the glorious praise that arises from every church and every generation through Jesus Christ and all that will yet be manifest through time and eternity. Amen. Ephesians 3, 14, 21. All right. Uh, you know, I really needed to read that again today. A good friend of mine posted it the other day on Facebook and I just immediately did exactly what it said. It just energized me, right? But, you know, this afternoon as I was looking for what to do for my morning show, I uh, I just gave away a little secret there. That's right. I've been taping these the day before because I'm not a morning person. There's no way, at least in my own power, I can get up at uh, 6 a.m. and do this show so that you can read the, get it in your feed before you go to work or start your day. But um, I had absolutely nothing. Zero. Nothing was coming to me. I knew what song I was going to do. It's an instrumental. It's an instrumental Wednesdays. Um... And then all of a sudden, uh, this came to my mind. And I thought, well, this isn't really a religious show, and I've been kind of leaning on religious topics or spiritual topics, right? But I thought, well, that's just it. I have brought in spirituality on so many dimensions. Art, uh, music, obviously, and uh, Ho'oponopono, uh, as well as occasionally touching on uh, the, the mind-blowing reality of the living Jesus Christ. So uh, anyway, this came, I think, at a really good time because even when I have nothing and my inspiration seems to be on a low, uh, you know, I, I feel inspired just having uh, read through those encouraging words. And I, I hope you do too. All right, so Instrumental Wednesday. We're going to do a little original of mine called Renegade. Some days it just doesn't seem to want to come together. My arms are tired. I've been practicing this song too much today, and I haven't been playing my piano much. So anyway, there we go. 
That's our show for today. Thanks for putting up with my imperfections, and we'll see you tomorrow.